Team USA captain. Azevedo now for the lead. Azevedo fires and scores. It's a four goal lead for Team USA. And everyone was telling me there's no way you're too small, you're too slow, you're too short, you're not strong enough. And to me, that just fueled the fire. Why, why would I do anything that I didn't believe in? And if I didn't believe in myself, then why am I out there doing it, right? You know, again, tries to stuff it in near side, and he does. Score the goal for Azevedo. Tied at one. USA has a response to Azevedo. A big day for him, foreshadowing here as he puts that one in. You know, when I was four years old, I, I I was pronounced dead for a minute and a half, right? I had a tracheotomy, I fell through a rabbit cage. Doctors told me for years after that I wasn't gonna be able to play sports, let alone the hardest sport in the world, water polo. It helps me take advantage of every moment I have. This is my time. 14 years old, watching the gold medal game of Spain. After the game, him patting me on the head and saying, maybe you'll be like me one day, changed my life. I came in as a freshman in high school and said to my dad, you know, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to go to the next Olympics. And at that point, my entire family nicknamed me Tony 2000, because that would be the Olympics that I was striving for. I'd be the youngest ever in the history in the US, but I felt like four years I could do it. We grew up in a mobile, mobile home. We didn't have a lot of money. My dad was a bouncer. He was a soccer coach, a water polo coach, and a Spanish teacher. And he was just constantly gone. And then we were close with my grandpa and my Brazilian grandma. She came a lot and took care of us. And my grandfather died, and then my grandmother got hit by a bus in Rio. And it was a big hit on the family. Those two believed in my dreams more than I did. So I'm gonna help them fulfill those dreams. Like, I'm gonna go even harder, and I'm gonna push, and I will be that Tony 2000. They will be looking down somewhere, you know, believing in me. You should dream as big as you can, but to get there, you have to set little goals. I heard this beat in my dream. I knew that I was small, so I had to be fast and strong. And the first two years sucked. I mean, it was waking up early, it was joining a swim class, joining swim teams, you know, trying to be a kid in high school and it wasn't until junior year where I made that team where I realized that my dreams very, very well could come true right now. The power play comes to an end. The catch and release hits it there for his sixth goal of the game. Unreal performance from the Team USA captain. Five times. So I was a five-time Olympian. I am a five-time Olympian. Coming at you live. One of the world's greatest water polo players. I mean, look, the ultimate natural high that I could say ever in my career was being able to beat Serbia in the semifinal to get to the gold medal game. We've played probably 30, 40 times and we never beat them once, <laughs> once. And it wasn't close. And going into that game with the motivation and everything we worked for and everything we went gone through those years, all of a sudden within the first couple minutes, blocking, smiling, scoring, that first goal, they subbed the goalie right, because of the goal over the head. Then the next goalie comes in, boom, they sub him again, sub the other goalie, you're already in their head. Next thing you know, we win 10-5. I mean, that, that, that's a natural high that'll stick with me for life. Azevedo fires and scores. It's a four goal lead for Team USA. And the captain, Tony Azevedo, with his second. Temptations are there for a reason, right? They're tempting. <laughs> yeah. um, but they're not looking out for you in the long term. I think one of the, the big moments for me was being around some of the older guys and making a bad decision to have a couple too many drinks and driving home and being stopped by a police officer, right? Was I drunk? No. Was I stupid to have beers and drive? Yes. And I went home and my dad called the national team coach and said he's off the team. And then the national team coach who ended up being my coach at Stanford you know, had a long talk with me and my dad and put things in perspective. And I realized, you know, a cool moment is not worth destroying my 
the cool life that I wanted to live, right? And that's really something that stuck with me. Drugs, as you get older and as you started playing professionally, they were around. They destroyed a good amount of my friends' lives. You're always gonna have these, these temptations and how do you deal with that? Just how do you deal with any adversity in life? And to me, it was always, especially knowing that that one moment with that one cop, if he wasn't a water polo player, I could have been in jail and my career would have been done. And I always went back to that moment. Is it worth it, right? Because I look back now, the career that I've built, and it's those guys that would love to be in my shoes, not the other way around. So one of the mottos that I, I live by is be remembered everywhere. My name is Tony Azevedo, and water polo is my natural high. What's yours?